Hello, in this video, I'm going to talk with you about sentinel lymph node biopsy, what to expect, and the results you might get afterwards. If you want to learn more, visit our other video about lymph node assessment to learn about how the lymph nodes determine the type of treatment you might be offered. Sentinel lymph nodes, it's a term that refers to the sentry node or the first node that drains the breast. I'll explain that in a little more detail. You know when you get a cold or you have a sore throat, there's a lymph node that's swollen? We have lymph nodes all over our body. Different parts of the body are drained by the lymph nodes. So that fluid, the lymph fluid from that area, goes into first one particular lymph node and then the rest of the lymph nodes in the body. The sentinel lymph node usually refers to a lymph node that's in the armpit on the side where the breast cancer is located. And if we specifically focus on examining that lymph node, we can figure out through very careful pathology sectioning, did the breast cancer from the breast go to that sentry lymph node? If the sentinel lymph nodes are negative, it's very likely the other lymph nodes in the armpit are negative. That means not involved with cancer. So we've learned that by examining that sentinel node, whether we need to look at other lymph nodes or not, because if that node is negative, the other ones will be. And if it's positive, do you need to have additional lymph nodes removed? How do we find the sentinel lymph node? We use two methods. One is through the use of a blue dye, and the other is through a small dose of radioactive isotope. Usually, we'll do one or the other or both. What we want to do is make sure we find that one node or that cluster of lymph nodes most likely to have caught lymph nodes, I mean cancer cells that leave the breast. So the day before your surgery, you will often have injection of the blue dye or this radioisotope into the breast itself. It goes right under the nipple. And then when the doctor takes you to the operating room, your surgeon operates on you, they find that node. They either see the blue dye or they find the lymph node that is most responsive to the radioisotope detector. And it's really nice to have both, but by using both methods, we're more likely to find that node. Now, when this is done, it can be uncomfortable. And one of the things I've learned from my patients is that they wish they'd known a little bit more that it was going to be uncomfortable. So I always prepare my patients to be prepared for that discomfort. One of the things you can do is find out, can you take with you into the operating room your own MP3 player? Can you listen to a relaxation video? This is highly effective in decreasing the discomfort or pain associated with a lymph node biopsy. Now, when the surgeon goes in, we actually don't know how many lymph nodes light up. You might think we can see these nodes, and we actually can't. I've seen as many as seven sentinel lymph nodes removed. More common, we see one to four. Again, the surgeon will remove the cluster of lymph nodes that light up or that light up the counter by noise, by detecting the radioactive isotope, and that's the node that they'll remove. You won't know, most likely, the day of the procedure, how many lymph nodes were removed. You'll find that out when you go back to the surgeon, or you might get a phone call telling you how many nodes were removed and how many were positive, if any. I hope this has been helpful for you. I've covered a lot, how we find the node, what it means, I've defined it, and how to prepare for having the sentinel lymph node removed. If this has been helpful, click like and subscribe to our channel. You can also go to yerba.com to get your personalized report.